Yes, uh, ma'am, we are going to start the program within a minute as students are still joining in. We are going sure. to start within one or two minutes. Sure. Yes, thank you everyone for joining in. There is some technical problems. So Shivani ma'am is joining in and she is starting the session. Please give us two more minutes. A very good afternoon to everyone. I extend a warm welcome to our respected principal ma'am, Professor Harpreet Kaur, our eminent guest speaker, Professor Sanghamitra Dhar, dear colleagues, and all my dear students present here. I, Shivani Verma, on the behalf of Economic Society, Artha Vrishta, and Department of Economics, extend my warmest welcome in today's program. This is a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to invite our principal ma'am, who has been making continuous efforts with her commitment, determination, and great vision, which has created a great platform for a college to grow. On behalf of organizing team and economics department, I seek your permission to begin the program. Now I would request principal madam to address the keen audience. It's over to you, ma'am. Principal ma'am is here. Uh, principal ma'am, offering kindly check, ma'am.
Kindly check, uh, Afri. Ma'am is here. No, ma'am. Ma'am is joined already. Ma'am was there, but I think yeah, she has left. So let me. I am truly humbled by the eminence presence of our resource person. It is a great opportunity for our department to have such a prominent personality as a resource person. Thank you so much, Professor Dhar, for sparing your valuable time and accepting our invitation. It is a great opportunity for us to listen to you. So without wasting much time, I hand over this time to Anika Chavla, Secretary, Economic Society, who will introduce the guest speaker now. Uh, Anika, it's over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, Thank I, you. Anika Chavla, Secretary of Arthur Rishti, the Economic Society of Mata Sundari College, feel privileged to invite our esteemed speaker, Dr. Sankam Mitra Dhar, for today's special lecture on gender responsive planning, a tool for gender mainstream. Dr. Dhar is a gender expert and a social researcher with 14 years of intersection program management experience. She specializes on issue of gender equality, involuntary resettlement, displacement issues, child rights, and research methodology in social sciences. She has been engaged as an expert on, on gender responsive budgeting for state of Nagaland and Manipur, two of the northeastern states in India. Currently, she is handholding the state of Manipur to implement GRB in the states. She has led a longitudinal behavior change program on gender bias sex section issues in endemic states like Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. She has also served as a social development specialist to Asian Development Bank to work on their resettlement and rehabilitation issues in infrastructure projects in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Punjab, Orissa, and West Bengal. Academically, she has been a UGC fellow at the Department of Social Work, Chama Milia Islama University, New Delhi. And her doctoral work has an empirical effort to understand the impact, impact of displacement as experienced by displaced women in one of Asia's largest special economic zones. So without further add-ons and delays, let's welcome Dr. Dhar and get started. Over to you, ma'am. Dr. Dhar, uh, ma'am, are you here? Yeah. Uh, do I start? Yeah, please, ma'am. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, first of all, thank you, everyone, for uh, having me here. And I know uh, Minakshi has been trying for a long time and due to all your exams and everything, it has got delayed and all. So finally, we get to meet each other. So uh, first of all, uh, I would just like to understand which year students are uh, in the house today. Ma'am, we have mix of first year, second years and third years over here. All bachelors, right? Yes, ma'am. And all from economics. Uh, they mix of courses, honors, uh, become honors, economic honors. They mix mix course, mix course courses, students. Uh, what are the courses? Uh, become program, become honors, BA in economics and philosophy. Uh, coming with BA philosophy students. So we have these uh, these courses students okay. right now with us. Take it, take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I just wanted to understand the audience so that I can have the conversation in a more engaging manner. So first of all, can I, like uh, generally, uh, I discuss a house rule with uh, the participants. So uh, I would like to understand if you would prefer the discussion in Hindi or English or both. And I would be comfortable with either of the options, it is your choice. You just let me know. And uh, although I 
particularly try not to use all technical terms uh, for, for students' uh, understanding. However, if there are any terms that, uh, that you feel that uh, man has not explained or something like that, you just uh, feel free to stop and clarify. I am completely fine with that. In fact, I encourage everyone of you to please participate as actively as possible because uh, I'm open to questions. So feel free about that. Uh, so uh, I understand it's a mixed group. So I will just uh, um, tune it in that language. First of all, uh, before I talk about the technicalities of the topic, I would like to understand, we all hear that in the 21st century, we in, uh, lot many uh, issues have been raised and a lot of work is happening and gender is one of those primary cross-cutting topic or, or, or rather term that is always uh, used in every vocabulary currently. So without Googling, who among you can tell me in your own language, what do you understand by gender? When this term is used, what do you understand by this term? Your understanding, not the definition. Anybody, please feel free. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are. Yeah. yeah, please, anyone. Anyone can uh, answer this but I would need an answer. Any person who defines themselves as male or female or any other gender that exists, um, they, that is how I would define gender. Like a, supposing a girl could define herself and have her pronouns as he slash him, therefore making them feel like, you know, they define as a male. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anything else to add? As bachelor's course students, why is it important for you to understand gender? Do you, uh, do you have a uh, take on that? Why at all? Is it a coursework or is it an additional discussion that you're having? What, what, what do you have to say to that? Can you please repeat once? Yeah, I said as graduation students, as bachelor students, why do you think the conversation around gender is important for all of you? Is it a coursework? Is it is some subject that everybody wants to understand further and that's why we are having this conversation? Uh, it's a subject that everybody should understand further, for sure, uh, because at this time, I think our generation, our, the, uh, the 18 year olds, we have a lot of power and we are the future of our country. So if we are aware and we make other people aware, I think that is a good thing. Like we all should be aware of how important gender is in everybody's lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Arshia, thank you so much. It's a beautiful uh, response. And I'm, I understand this is a women's, co women's college. So Obviously, all women will be there, so mostly it will be sensitive. But generally, whenever I'm having a conversation with students, I've been uh, posed this question, not only by males, but also by females, that uh, gender pe? So that is a critical thing that has come up every time. Why gender at all? So first of all, one notion, there are a couple of notions that need to be broken. Gender does not mean women discussion. You, all of you cross-cutting have to understand that when we talk gender, we are not only talking about women or we are not only talking about sex, right? So gender is a perspective that needs to be understood in our way of life. It's, it's basically that ingrained in all our conversations, in all our actions, in all our policies, you name anything. Gender is cross-cutting across. And that's why I, I have done my graduation in philosophy. So when I studied philosophy from Jadavpur, those days we used to have a lot many debates. I don't know the curricular currently, but on those days we used to have Western philosophy, we used to have Indian philosophy, 
all the conversations, we always brought in gender elements, even though it was not a very popular topic at that time. But now I'm talking 90s. So around those days, it was not a very popular discussion. Now in graduation, you guys are having this conversation. So first of all, congratulations to all of you because you all are way advanced than we were in our uh, college days because but now because you guys are so aware and so uh, um, conscious about th this kind of topics understanding why at all are we having this conversation and understanding that it is not a binary conversation is very very critical so first myth that all of you should break in your own understanding is gender is not a women's discussion only. Gender is a human discussion. Usme women is obviously the 50% of it, but baki 50% may be a population hai. So always keep in mind that when you are, say for instance, if I am supposedly a gender expert and I'm working on policies, I am not only talking about women's rights. I'm talking about human rights. The moment I broaden the uh, 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 definition, automatically every human being comes into the periphery or, or rather in the radius. And that is critical because at one point it was only seen that gender is a women's issue and that's why we need to work with women. Wrong understanding. First of all, gender is a it, the conversation itself is founded on the concept of equity. And what is equity? Somebody who's marginalized, usko raise karna hai, right? So, agar marginalization ki definition mein hum jaye, aur usme we see who are the marginalized section, then within the demography, you will see that women, Dalit, uh, children, they are the marginals of the marginals, right? So, automatically then the conversation sits on women's development. But the concept of gender does not equate to only women. You have to understand that fundamental aspect. Once you're clear on that, because uh, when I had the conversation with Minakshi, I was of the impression this, I will be talking to only economics student. So uh, excuse my uh, uh, presentation because uh, I have posed it in an economic language, but I hope others will also be able to understand. If there are any doubts, please feel free to uh, clarify with that. So fundamental way, ye clear hai ki gender is not just women, gender is all, all, all uh, sexes and in 21st century, we are also empowered and uh, have a more aware understanding of different uh, binaries or rather different categories of choice. Whoever wants to take whatever, it's their choice and therefore we have to have that uh, non-judgmental, unbiased uh, uh, take on uh, everybody's uh, right to choice. So that being said, now when we say uh, gender responsive planning, or rather, if, if we go rather into a little more um, uh, uh, detailing of what exactly then is gender, gender is basically the uh, social construct, as, as uh, Arshia rightly pointed out, that what I understand, how, how I interact or how somebody uh, chooses to be that it is a social construct and that is the key determinant for our self-concept as well as the perception of others by it through our lenses so it forms not only our uh, physical health it also uh, uh, like uh, develops our mental health and our relationship with others so primarily when we are talking gender we are basically trying to understand a way of looking at the world, of looking at people, and uh, at, at, at rather understanding relationship between those people. So then when anyone says, look at the issue through a gender lens, understand that we are expecting you to relate to the unequal relationships. 
between men and women, between all the other categories. And then uh, th that has been created by the society also. That also we have to keep, keep in mind, but naturally it was not there. It has been created by the society and which requires some, uh, some form of changes, positive changes, and on, on which all gender experts are working to get, get that, uh, that uh, equality being uh, 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 underlying factor. So gender equality is achieved when men, women, girls, boys, and all other uh, categories have equal rights, conditions, and opportunities. Plus, there is another dimension that you always need to keep in mind that the power to shape their own lives and contribute to the development of society is something that is, when we talk about marginalization, the power or the freedom to choose or, or, or decide for themselves is restricted. And when we are talking about gender equality and when we are talking about uh, uh, a gender fair society, these all rights and uh, responsibilities come auto. So the moment we are saying that, okay, we are trying to mainstream, uh, uh, conversation and mostly when we talk about gender, we talk about uh, mainstreaming the uh, uh, discussion. It is basically to achieve a state of equal access to resources and opportunities for all, including economic participation and decision making. So it is a matter of equitable distribution of power, influence, and resources in the society. So not only uh, are there challenges in, uh, uh, in the distribution on these parameters, but there are also differences. So we have to always keep in mind that when we are talking about, talking about equitable distribution, we are talking on multi uh, dimensions, power, influence, resources, because one might have an access to resource, but one might not have the choice to take that uh, decision to access that resource. Say a simple example is education. We know for a fact in our country that a girl child does not have the right or, or, or actually has the right, sorry, but uh, does not have the power or autonomy to choose to uh, continue her schooling. And that challenge begins primarily after middle school in rural settings and many, many a times we have seen those uh, aspects happening across the uh, social strata. So it is not just rural, but in other uh, spaces also we have seen that. So resource might be there, but because the person does not have the autonomy or the power to choose, she cannot access, she or he cannot access it. Right. So when we are talking about equitable distribution, we are talking about all these parameters together, not one at a time. Because if we don't take these aspects simultaneously, then somewhere or the other, the equation becomes skewed. Because if there is power, but there is resource, nahi hai, then the conversation again gets challenged. Because now you have to work on getting the resources. Education, a uh, good uh, quality education access might not be there in a village. But for that child to reach that, she, uh, her family has no issues for her to access schooling. But the school does not have good resources. So therefore, that child needs to be um, uh, uh, accessing a good quality uh, education. So that resource access becomes a challenge. So whenever we are talking about equal distribution, we have to understand power, distribution of resources, all of them go together, hand in hand. So whenever you we are uh, looking at any of these policies, we try to understand through that. And um, because I work primarily with policies uh, that involve budgeting, so I will, I will share briefly on what exactly is this mainstreaming concept because uh, gender responsive budgeting, which is also, uh, also a tool under gender responsive planning is basically a budgetary allocation and their outcomes, uh, how, how it actually makes an impact on us, everyone, 
men, women, and all the other diverse genders. Because budgetary allocations are critical for any kind of policy to be successful. Because say, for instance, you have, uh, you have a policy on girl-child education. Or for that matter, uh, currently we are uh, like lot many um, um, evaluations and monitorings are going on on the different schemes, uh, particularly the um, uh, scheme around uh, gas cylinders, uh, access to gas cylinders in the villages. So if that is one policy that uh, as, as an economic student or for that matter, any other uh, field of study, if you are trying to understand how that is um, important, then you have to understand how that budgetary allocation and its outcomes have different impact on every gender or, or for that matter on any population. And one of the important areas of macroeconomic policy and the entry point, which has like uh, in recent times has um, uh, gained a lot of uh, prominence is this gender budgeting, where we are trying to plan, where we are trying to budget, and we are also trying to audit the entire process of the budget cycle. So women continue to be disadvantaged relatively than men, uh, and this is not only in India, it is across the globe. But in many cases, um, as I uh, pointed out earlier, uh, education and all, the differences are changing, but they, there are still, still the gaps. And bringing focus on gender equities in fiscal policy making can lead to a faster progress in eliminating these, uh, uh, these gaps. So if a girl child, who is in her teens and has access to education, she would uh, not fall prey to the child marriage so social um, uh, issue because then she continues with her education, she goes to her colleges, she goes to her uh, higher uh, education, and then she uh, takes her um, uh, employment of her choice. So she gradually becomes, um, in the right sense of the word, empowered because uh, she's uh, uh, not only um, uh, kind of um, having the access to it, but she's also developed the ski skills to reach that. So that itself becomes a huge, huge uh, gain for the, for the entire uh, discussion on gender. So public spending can target key areas such as education and health, where, where we generally see a major, major gap, but other areas are also very, very critical in the economic sphere, which have uh, kind of um, not only gender gaps, but also lot many um, um, disparities when we look at the fiscal policies also. So those gaps need, need to be filled and the revenue measures and uh, changes to laws and regulations can also support those progress. So, when we say that um, we are trying to work on gender issues, we are trying to understand multitude of, um, of uh, dimensions, because as all of you must be aware, that when we talk about uh, gender perception perspectives, we are actually talking on multitude of dimensions. It is uh, not only intersectional, uh, all of you understand what is intersectional, right? Is there any doubt on the word? Everybody knows the caste, gender, um, uh, um, uh, social status, all these parameters, religion, all of them form the intersectionality of the conversation. And whenever we are trying to understand any, uh, any policy or any topic uh, through a gender lens, we try to observe that aspect through those all those parameters so that's why when in india particularly whenever we are talking about uh, gender dimensions and gender perspectives we practice intersectional uh, uh, feminism and uh, that is where our our distinction is from the rest of the world because uh, india is a very very big country comparatively and a diverse one also because lot many uh, 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 different uh, kind of people live here 
hind as in uh, from different regions with different languages with different uh, practices so all those things need to be keep, kept in mind say for instance currently i am uh, helping one of the northeastern states to understand how they have to incorporate gender budgeting in their policies right so what what i do for delhi population or uh, rajasthan uh, uh, state policies i cannot do it for manipur why because here their cultural practices their cultural reality their uh, uh, understanding around uh, women and uh, children and um, other uh, genders is different from others because uh, all of you must be aware uh, manipur has one of the asia's largest women market what does that mean the market is run by women operated by women and whatever is uh, the process the, like whatever work is done in those ima kettles uh, the market is called kettle and ima means uh, mother and nowadays we also have nupi nupi means women younger women so there are two two different uh, market places in the heart of the city, uh, of the capital in amphal Uh, one market is called ima kettle which is the older one and um, uh, in the newer times they have formed the nupi uh, nupi kettle also which means the younger generation women uh, operate in those market and it's a very systematic process uh, i've lived half my life in delhi i have never seen that kind of a systematic market system and it is so well organized timely and all those uh, parameters are like a uh, lot of us have a lot to learn from here and uh, however although manipur is supposed to be women led when you look into the legislative uh, assembly uh, composition you will hardly find any women leaders there or when you look at um, uh, the leadership around the state you will have like you can pick and choose it it won't cross more than five over the period it's not just this year over the period we do not have more leader much much uh, women leaders although it is the state is heavily run by women that's a fact but leadership mein wo log nahi hai theek hai so what does that imply that when you have a system where women are showing you that all the progress all the development that is happening we are equal or rather more involved in it and contributing in it yet they do not have a position in the leadership so that that is where like in this state you will have to work around how that can be generated so uh, like when i am working on gender budgeting with the different uh, nodal departments primary department is social welfare and uh, finance so when they are working on the gender policy and i am uh, in the core committee on review i am trying to incorporate the, those concepts because once a policy is made it goes on for a long period right so once a policy for a state is developed around gender we have to ensure that all those gaps that we as as uh, external experts are are identifying as problematic needs to be uh, it cannot be resolved overnight but needs to be addressed in the policy document so that is where as gender uh, um, uh, professionals actually we try to contribute on that and as economic students or for that matter any other uh, field student you have to understand why that is important because ground mein aapko kafi sari cheeze sunne ko milenge ki ye nahi mil raha hai wo nahi mil raha hai whatever sare jo discrepancies hai marginalizations hai wo sare hain no denying that lekin wo change kaise ho sakta hai sirf bolne se nahi hoga you will also have to impact the policy to make those positive changes and once you are in that uh, table and having those conversations with every and any uh, other professional to say that no if you are talking about water policy 
you will have to see how gender needs to be incorporated in, in that or for that matter somebody might say are fire department pe isme women ka kya karna nahi kyun nahi karna karna hai na unko bhi dalo kaise daloge that is where as experts we try to help them build that understanding and 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 uh, very very uh, fantastic work is happening here so we are as an organization we are very excited on that so uh, that is there but when as students as bachelor students because you have a long way to go uh, where, uh, as per the education so as a as a graduate student if you can understand that gender has these many aspects to look into and these many areas to focus on then automatically your when when you look at a policy document or when you say for instance abhi currently aapka ye jo uh, raising the age of the um, marriageable marriageable age uh, race ki jo uh, parliamentary committee discussion chal rahi hai in that as youth as arshia rightly pointed that youth is the uh, future leader how do you identify that as a positive or a negative should women's age be raised from 18 to 21 when it comes to marriage or not this conversation it's not a women's issue it's an overall issue because when you look at the law you will see men anyways was in 21 women jane kyu bahut zyada hi smart the ki kya hai pata nahi unko 18 mein rakha hua tha aur abhi usko jab raise karne ki baat ho rahi hai there are lot many like lot many opposition or uh, uh, argument against and for, for it so as students uh, aware students of uh, this generation you have to understand how you can impact it so whenever these conversations are happening if you are interested around these kind of conversations do participate do uh, keep your uh, reasoning whichever it is in favor or against it it's com- completely no problem because we live in a democracy we have every right to choose whichever we want to but what why you are choosing something should be founded on logic mm-hmm. not so much on emotion emotion of course is there but if it is grounded on logic it will be more stronger it will be it will have more reception to like uh, it will be more acceptable because logic means you are giving an unbiased uh, opinion on something which is founded on scientific thinking so that that is very very critical so i'm just giving an example of from the current days when we are talking about gender but otherwise also if you are having a like you all know the fundamentals of stereotyping of gender roles of gender uh, discriminations and all these uh, other factors that happen but as students of today's time as members of the earth uh, this this group that you are so i i understand this is derived from arthashastra right so from that if you are talking about uh, um, any kind of a uh, discussion on on any uh, cross cutting topic then you have to understand that all the peripheries have to be taken up all the categories have to be discussed all the dimensions have to be taken into consideration so if you do all, all of that then whatever you talk on um, currently we are talking about gender differences so in that if if the uh, the gender differences and behaviors have like a multitude of uh, implications and more so on macroeconomic policy making so be it the consumption behavior or even the uh, uh, public choice or for that matter investments risk taking labor market even um, uh, when we look at improving the gender equality uh, um, uh, how how it uh, strengthens the prospects for growth and stability nowadays we are talking uh, widely on uh, breaking the glass ceiling and all that which means what because women have not had those kind of opportunities and if and when th- that changes it is for the better because 
we are talking about a major section of the population who has not who has in, in for whatever reason been denied that position and now it is high time that we have that uh, seat and it, uh, um, as i earlier pointed out the political influence because when you increase women's political influence that actually leads to a great, like uh, the, the rise in the role of distributive fiscal uh, policies so or and, and also public insurance and all these uh, required um, pol policy changes because women have the understanding and um, skill to uh, dissect an issue through these lenses it's it's a innate quality women have which can actually lead to a lot of uh, uh, positive uh, sorry a lot of positive um, uh, benefits to the business and that's why when we are uh, talking to the uh, corporate world we are we are posing that uh, no, the labor market still retains barriers to women's full participation and allowing women to make the best use of these skills would actually add to the uh, to the growth of the company or or for that matter the uh, greater economy and here i would like to categorize that you i am using the word uh, i am using the word uh, allowing but you have to understand when there is uh, the, the, i object to that word but when there is no space for somebody no entry for somebody and there is another person sitting there who has the uh, power to give that right in that conversation we are using the word allow so please do understand it is not that uh, women by nature are uh, require permission but in the um, uh, conversation around labor market and and the overall uh, business world because women have been uh, kind of uh, marginalized overall the concept of letting them in and uh, giving a chair uh, or or uh, rather inserting a chair for them has become so very important and critical i will stop here and if any of you have any doubts or want any more um clarify acha there is a question ma'am can you please elaborate how can women participate more in gender planning conversations uh, as as i said when uh, say for instance if a policy document is being uh, ratified or 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 been uh, in the conversation it is by law that it will be put into uh, public domain for their uh, opinion citizens opinion so when you are talking about uh, say for instance if i take the current example of this uh, raising the age of the women to 21 is under debate as in as a general citizen you and me can participate in that conversation by writing in that forum the 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 notification the public notice that has come usme ek email or other contact details diya hua hai agar aapko apna apni baat rakhni hai as a as a group or as an individual also you can use that medium to share your opinion right uh, also ma'am yeah, but uh, also ma'am we we would write but uh, we have a doubt like do our voices will be listened or uh, taken properly uh, see priya the... one thing that you have to understand pehle aap bolo to सुनेंगे नहीं सुनेंगे वो तो दूसरी बात है पहले आप बोलो तो आपके दिमाग में जो बातें चल रही हैं आपने वो कभी मेरे पास रखा ही नहीं तो मुझे तो पता नहीं प्रिया को कुछ बोलना है कि नहीं पहले बोलो आप लिखो जो भी आप लोग लिखना चाह रहे हो एज एज ए ग्रुप और एज इंडिविजुअल इफ यू आर राइटिंग सी ऑल दीज सोशल चेंजेस अराउंड पॉलिसीज एंड अदर स्कीम्स हैपन ओवर नाइट मतलब आपने अगर आज लिखा आपको अगर ये फील हो कि परसों उस पर चेंज हो जाना चाहिए दैट डज नॉट हैपन बी बी वेरी रियलिस्टिक विथ योर एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑल्सो बिकॉज दिस इज अ पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड ह्योर 
not only you, not only you and me are party to it there are 10000 other dimensions right you have seen that campaign where men said we will not marry mm -hmm. earlier there was some campaign on uh, a rape case judgment right yeah. so this is the understanding of people ki bhai rape case pe ka conviction hua hai मराइटल रेप केस का कन्विक्शन हुआ है उसमें मेन आर सेइंग वी विल नॉट मैरी क्या लॉजिक है मतलब आर यू गेटिंग मैरिड टू रेप व्हाट नॉनसेंस काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट इज दैट सो दैट इटसेल्फ लाइक टेल्स यू दैट हाउ लिमिटेड आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स सो व्हेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक अ पॉजिटिव चेंज i am not saying that they saying that is wrong or right i am just saying they have said something wrong or right is a little period conversation but they they felt that they have been cornered or whatever they did not understand that the entire conversation around gender or feminism is against a notion which is called patriarchy it is not mm -hmm. against men right मेन भी तो विक्टिम है ऑफ पेट्रियार्की तो वो चीज समझने के लिए आपको इस इस ओवरऑल कॉन्वर्सेशन में सिर्फ बात से नहीं होगी आपको पढ़ना भी है बहुत सारा यू हैव टू रीड नॉट ओनली वेस्टर्न ऑथर्स यू हैव टू रीड ऑल रीजनल ऑथर्स बिकॉज इवन साउदी रीजन हैज lot a uh, rich uh, resource of uh, gender experts mm, south asia to hai hi theek hai to aap agar simon de bouvre ko pad rahe ho to sath mein aap uh, indian uh, scholars ko bhi padhe i am not uh, saying that one is right over the other kyunki indian ya south asian jo scholars honge they have particularly observed it through a gender lens and that mm. intersectional lens that is very important when we are talking about india particularly india agar hum baat kar rahe hain matlab aap ye dekhe ki uh, professor bina agarwal she writes extensively on on gender dimensions mm. read them she has mm. she she talks not only on uh, policy level discussion she talks about very daily based uh, issues also that women face across the globe but particularly on india and that helps like you guys are all in graduation level so it will give you an idea on how the narration is going and as you are you you have your own uh, understanding and and your own perceptions so you can then understand where you are differing with them and why you are differing with a logic matlab mujhe nahi karna ये नहीं होता है मुझे नहीं कर रहे इसलिए नहीं करना सो इफ यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ अ डिलिबरेशन इट विल एड टू द ओवरऑल कॉन्वर्सेशन राइट सो प्रिया आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल इफ यू पीपल आर थिंकिंग ऑफ वर्किंग ऑन इट आई आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ द डेट हैज कम क्लोज्ड और नॉट बट इफ इट हैज नॉट डू डू राइट इन टू दैट एंड गिव योर मेल पार्टिसिपेट यस यस डू डू डेफिनेटली डू दैट and also understand when we are talking about gender discrimination we live in a patriarchal misogynistic society yes. there is no denying to that if you deny that then you have lost half the battle hmm. first of all you have to understand that we live in that so if if once i have accepted that okay i am living in a misogynistic patriarchal society now what so ek bar jab maine ye maan liya तो उसके बाद जो भी चीजें आएंगी मेरे पे आई कैन लुक एट इट लॉजिकली आई कैन बाइफिकेट हाउ व्हाट इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू माय जजमेंट एंड व्हाट इज नॉट एंड व्हाई नॉट बेसिकली एक्सेप्टेंस कम्स विद दैट या बट आई एम नॉट सेइंग एक्सेप्ट एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ सोशल कल्चर कल्चरल प्रैक्टिसेस नहीं प्रैक्टिस का भी लॉजिक होता है वो लॉजिक क्या है अगर वो लॉजिक है तो आप करें नहीं है आप नहीं करना चाहते तो आप उसको बताएं कि क्यों नहीं करना चाह रहे ऐसा नहीं कि भाई मैं आज मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड की हूँ इसलिए नहीं करूंगी वो नहीं होता hmm. अगर वो करोगे तो इट विल नॉट स्टे फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड सो दैट इज हाउ व्हेन वी आर हैविंग दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑन जेंडर वी ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इन दिस दिस डायमेंशन 
that uh, it has to be based on logic and and founded on rational is there hmm. any other question that is there uh, yes there ma'am no megha sharma has asked whenever i heard that whenever i heard the term gender i automatically connect the dots with women in the needs and problems of women yeah. as you mentioned about the rape of women and men denying to marry what's the problem or what are we lacking as a society to put an end to it okay um, megha as i said this overall conversation is actually against patriarchy it is not against men but the people who are fighting against it or or who whoever had the uh, uh, understanding to build that uh, trending social media uh, concept that uh, it, it was some kind of a term na catch term unhone use kiya tha ki uh, if uh, we, we will not marry or something like that anti marriage or something like that mm-hmm. so that is the fundamentals of marriage was missed in the conversation right marriage is an equal relationship if that is not understood these men anyways do not should not be married because they are thinking that yeah i will be getting a slave or maybe some kind of a person who will listen to me come what may and do whatever i ask that itself is problematic right and uh, when you are saying that apne pehla wala portion kya bola i hear the term gender i automatically uh, yeah as i as i uh, emphatically pointed out don't connect that gender ka matlab women and girls ka need nahi hai it is over yes because the society has been you know continuously mentioning when it comes to gender they always talk about because women that's why i said that's why i said yeah. that when when as as people talking on the concept of gender we have to be very clear that today when we are having this conversation we are not only talking about our we the women's right no we are talking about human rights right. the mistaken notion is that it is only women's right right but in the same in the same tangent i will also like to add that when you look at the equity approach because the entire conversation around uh, feminism is based on the equity approach because there is a um, um, unequal relationship currently the relationship is skewed against women that's why all these gender uh, the interventions are happening for women the day it is uh, the, the relationship changes we will be happy to work for the men also but we have to understand that it is based on the need the women are marginalized the women are uh, raped the women are facing all kind of um, um, this uh, this uh, discriminations that's why we as feminists or as gender experts we are working to alleviate that situation right it is not synonymous the gender and women is not synonymous yeah so next time onwards if anybody tells you ki bhai aap log to sirf women rights pe baat karte ho bol do ki bhai nahi aisa hai nahi hum to gender pe karte hain to hum to human rights pe baat kar rahe hain but it is there any other question what is the difference between gender equality is it what so when no this is a different question what is the difference between gender equity gender equality and women empowerment okay this i have already addressed in my lecture so basically when you are uh, first first understanding is uh, let me let me just show you one picture that will give you a clear idea of what we mean by uh, gender equi- uh, equity um, equity issues so uh, can i share the screen yes ma'am you can share Uh, yes, I would request ma'am. Afrin ma'am, Afrin ma'am, to stop sharing the screen. Okay. See, uh, I'll just. Is it visible now? No, oh, ma'am. No. As of now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Can you see it now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So when we are talking about equity, we are basically talk talking about this. the resource is same for everyone but the access to it becomes a challenge so a fox cannot reach that vessel but a crane can easily have it right 
same way, if the plate is changed, the, the, the same food is put on a different, um, different platter, the entire conversation changes. So then we are providing, because it does not make it a challenge for the train also. That, was, that uh, thing can also drink or eat from that vessel, right? It might be a little challenge for them, but still it will not be an issue. But the fox can I think you have a network issue your voice. Yes, I think ma'am is not audible right now. Yeah. yeah. I think there is network issue from her side. Yeah. Uh, Minakshi Swami, ma'am, can you drop a message to Dhar, ma'am? That there yes, is some. Yes, I think yes, I will call her. Okay. Girls, I think you all are enjoying the session. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's really a good session. I must say that. Ki isme bahut achhe se jo gender ko explain kiya hai, ma'am. It's really good. Right. Well, Jesse Mam ne bataya that gender is not about the physical identification of a human being. Right. It's just not like ki aap kuch ko physically identify kar pa rahe. Gender kya hai ki aap jis tarah se us cheez ko feel karte hai. Right. Many of the people say that we are, a, we, are uh, we are different soul in different body. Right. So it's just not about the physical identification. It's about how you feel it. How you perceive the gender. Right, it's just beautifully explained by her. Let's wait for her. Maybe she's joining in within one or two minutes. Sure. Yes, uh, Shivani ma'am is there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Shivani ma'am is also there. Hello, there is network problem with ma'am. Right? She will join, Bitta. Yes, ma'am. She will be joined within a minute. Girls, I would request you to turn on your camera. I'll take a good photo. Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you're audible. I'm very sorry. My net actually went off. So it's okay. I'm it's okay. rejoined. No problem, ma'am. So, so uh, did I answer the query? What was the query? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Um, Ma'am, we have a, another one question. Yes, please. Uh, Aditi has asked us, being realistic, we often observe, even presently, in rural areas, women themselves are not ready for ready or comfortable to empower themselves. They had set their and even their daughters in their laws limit, in laws limit, limits of only taking care of household work. So, ma'am, so ma'am, how can we work on that? Because ma'am, even after making policies for them, still they are not benefiting from them. We observe in rural areas the husband of the female pradhan are taking the lead and the work. Okay. Uh, see, first, first thing that we have to keep in mind uh, the question. Uh, I, I didn't get the name of the question person the Aditi. issue is Aditi first thing that you should keep in mind is it is not the women's fault proxy situation is a societal issue 
that uh, we we as uh, people working on these dimensions are trying to address on a daily basis so when women uh, sarpanch is there and the man is taking all the leader uh, leadership and all the decisions we are okay with it in the first round why because she has first of all she has got into that run now unko wo access hi nahi tha so pehla jab wo pahunchi hai so let us all appreciate that she has reached there now in the second term the issue hap- the, the the contention the your query or your objection needs to be uh, kind of targeted on the second round because if by the second round she is not empowered enough to actually stop this kind of discrimination then we have to work on uh, getting 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 the situation changed because women first of all do not have that right be it rural or urban when you are saying that uh, women um, when given an opportunity they don't do it ma'am what are your views on fathers taking maternity oh yeah. that's a different question uh, so when women are not using those opportunities even when given an uh, given an opportunity one needs to understand it is a very new concept to her because it is a generational disadvantage she has lived with mere mummy mere grandmother mere great grandmother kisi ko bhi padhai ka option nahi tha aur aaj mujhe university jane ka option mil raha hai main lungi ki nahi lungi that itself becomes a challenge for me no so always we have to keep in mind that when women are the hesitant to take up some kind of a uh, uh, power situation or a position there has there has to be a uh, s- systematic understanding of the systemic disadvantage that she has lived with what do we mean by systemic disadvantage ye jo sara resource power ye sare jo uh, categories ki hum baat kar rahe the these were all inaccessible to her to that person in particular and now when she is getting it she does not know how to use it so first we have to help her to understand how it should be uh, it, she can benefit from it and in doing so she can help the overall society also from it right so that is that, that i hope i have answered that query i'll take this last one what was this fathers taking paternity leave completely supported we as an organization have been working vigorously on this because a child is not only a women's responsibility it is a couple's responsibility be it a man man be it a women women be it a man women a couple everyone both the parties are equally responsible for raising the child so agar um, uh, the man in the relationship is required to take leave leave and should actually take leave because he also has to build a relationship with the child he also has to understand diaper kaise badla jata hai kaise khana khilaya jata hai kaise sulaya jata hai all these they may might sound very trivial to us who are not doing it at a daily basis but a mother who is just given birth and is taking care of uh, a child is burdened with not only uh, physical stress even mental stress है ना तो आज के डेट में लॉट ऑफ अस आर हैविंग दिस कॉन्वर्सेशंस ऑन पोस्टपार्टम डिप्रेशन आल्सो सो दीस थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी रियल एंड दीस हैव बीन हैपनिंग वे लॉन्ग इट्स नॉट अ करंट डे सिचुएशन इट्स जस्ट द रिकॉग्निशन इज टुडे सो सो वाइडली देयर अर्लियर दीस इश्यूज वर नॉट इवन आइडेंटिफाइड दैट दीस आर इश्यूज राइट so mm-hmm. us hisab se paternity uh, uh, father having paternity leave is fundamental in any any kind of a uh, uh, child rearing uh, uh, situation have i answered all the queries priya uh, yes ma'am but we have a very good uh, question with from the arshavik i i would request yes. you to answer this last one 
डू यू थिंक अ पर्सन हु द सोसाइटी परसीव एज एज अ गर्ल एंड दे आइडेंटिफाई दम सेल्व एज ही और हिम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ गर्ल्स कॉलेज डज इट मीन दैट इन अ सेंस दे हैव बिट्रेड द वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ जेंडर स्पेक्ट्रम दैट एग्जिस्ट or is it okay since the people who don't define themselves as the gender they are born as are already marginalized so they can enjoy the certain be- benefits they have okay so you are talking about the fluidity of uh, genders right so see the um, if i am not mistaken uh, the option to choose man women uh, other or any kind of a gender has started opening in the eu in recent times right during the admission times uh, jamia had started a couple of years back so all these central universities are trying to make those changes but it is like it it is just in a very nascent stage and lot of work needs to be done but i totally uh, empathize with you, your query that a person who identifies himself or herself as a different gender than what biology says to him or her is something of a huge challenge for that person to live on a daily basis and and, mm-hmm. and it, it's not only the university or the uh, college allowing or not allowing it is also his or her identity that the the sheer crisis that she or he goes through is enormous उसका जो साइकोलॉजिकल इम्पैक्ट है वो तो अनइमेजिनेबल है एंड दैट दैट रियली नीड्स टू बी एड्रेस्ड प्लस आशी आई विड आल्सो लाइक टू इम्प्लोर हियर दैट इवन द सोसाइटल स्टिग्मा हम लोग मतलब जनरली अगर कोई लड़का या लड़की थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट बिहेव करता है हम लोग टर्म्स दे देते हैं टॉम बॉय है या एफिमिनेट है ये सारे टर्म्स कितना डेरोगेटरी है हम समझ ही नहीं पाते हम जनरली यूज कर जाते हैं ना लेकिन द पर्सन हु इज लिविंग थ्रू इट इट बिकम्स अ ह्यूज चैलेंज फॉर दैट पर्सन बिकॉज ही शी इज नॉट मेकिंग एन एक्ट ही शी इज लिविंग इट उसके लिए तो वो नॉर्मल है आप उसको एबनॉर्मल बना रहे हो ना बाय बाय क्वालिफाइंग इट एज डिफरेंट सो इन माय पर्सनल इफ यू आस्क माय पर्सनल टेक i would want anyone and everybody to accept it the way they are matlab mai agar ye bolu my name is dr sangamitra dhar i am a man you should not have a smile or a sneer about it because this is my identity that i choose who are you to judge me for it right lekin if you if you are not open about it you have to start thinking about it i am also not saying that you, everybody is born with that kind of a sensitivity nahi hota wo sab ka lekin agar nahi hai to please work through it try to help that person whoever is going through that kind of a crisis and and just be there matlab aap psychologist nahi ho aap psychiatrist nahi ho aap sirf empathize kar sakte ho unke sath mein to be honest in that empathy ये नहीं बोलो हाँ मैं समझ सकती हूँ पता मेरे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ था नहीं ये ये बोलना बहुत गलत होता है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर रियलिटी एंड माय रियलिटी आर वेरी डिफरेंट इफ आई एम शेयरिंग माय रियलिटी विथ यू डोंट ट्राई टू शो दैट यू आल्सो हैड अ सिमिलर रियलिटी नहीं नॉट नेसेसरी है ना तो आशिया थैंक यू फॉर अ ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन एंड एवरी आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट एवरी इन दिस हाउस टू बी सेंसिटिव टू दैट सिचुएशन एंड बी लाइक मतलब आप ये सोचे की आपके घर में अगर कोई बच्चे हैं और उसमें कोई लड़का है जो की थोड़ा दूसरी तरह से बात करता है तो हम बोलते हैं ना अरे क्या लड़की जैसी हरकत कर रहा है क्यों बोलते हैं ये ये बोलना ही तो गलत है क्योंकि उस बच्चे में आपने ये डाल दिया ये नोशन डाल दिया कि लड़की मैं बिकॉज आई एम ऑफ अ डिफरेंट जेंडर आई शुड नॉट बी बिहेविंग इन दैट वे दैट बिहेवियर इज रॉन्ग वाई इट्स हिज और हर चॉइस वॉट वे दे वॉन्ट टू बिहेव इन 
if they are comfortable you should be comfortable because anyways that person is not asking you to change he himself is practicing she himself is practicing us pe problem hone ki to baat nahi hai aur ye cheez uh, ashya uh, even during our college days we have seen that kind of instances and uh, i personally even today have very good relation with those uh, uh, people they have not come out so obviously we cannot uh, disclose their identities so and even in that tangent only i'll say homosexuality and lesbianism all these things are something of a closet discussion right so why do we have to have that kind of a uh, guarded uh, identity issue because it's their choice and it's my choice what i want to do until and unless i'm harming you and physically mentally harming you 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 have no right to tell me you should not be doing it jab hum baat karte hain constitution ki hum hamesha preamble mein rights ki baat karte hain sath mein humko ye bhi dhyan rakhna hai ki duties bhi hai hai na so and we live in a democracy so we have to be mindful of that that everybody has a right to choose what they want to do and we have a right and duty to support it until and unless it is criminal hai na agar wo criminal cheez hai agar aapko aapke doston ke beech mein aapko kabhi pata laga ki koi ek koi ek jana hai jo pedophile hai usko nahi aapko guard karna hai usko aapko definitely pasco forum mein batana hai because that is a threat to the other uh, children right so that is not uh, understanding and that is not uh, डेमोक्रेटिक uh, ड्यूटी वो आपका इनफैक्ट वो आपका ड्यूटी है कि आप रिपोर्ट करो आप नहीं करो तो दैट बिकम्स अ चैलेंज राइट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव टू बी अंडरस्टूड इन इन अ वेरी अनबायस्ड वे बिकॉज एवरीबडी एज एज आशियस क्वेश्चन हैज रियली स्टक इन अप विद मी बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग दैट हैज हैपेंड ओवर जनरेशन ऐसा नहीं है कि आपकी जनरेशन में सिर्फ ये हो रहा है हमारे जमाने में भी हमने ये चीजें देखी हैं और आज तक आप सोचें कि हमारे दोस्तों ने आज तक नहीं शेयर कर पाए हैं दे आर लिविंग लाइफ दे आर हैविंग अ वेरी टफ लाइफ बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव लाइक हमारे साथ दोस्तों के साथ वो शेयर कर सकते हैं फैमिली में तो नहीं शेयर कर सकते शादी कर रहे हैं बच्चे हो रहे हैं ऑल दोज थिंग्स नॉट मेनी कॉम्प्लिकेशन है सो दे आर लिविंग थ्रू लाइक हेलिश लाइफ because we have so many stigmas and uh, taboos around these conversations so i would encourage all of you to have an open mind and be be uh, encouraging and supporting to each other not in wrong deeds but in good holistic way of development true development so i hope i have answered i see nine things i hope they are not questions yeah priya Have no ma'am they, yeah. they are not questions they are appreciate appreciable messages for you oh, okay 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 thank you so Thanks much for really uh, loving your session and they want more sessions like this they are saying it was really informative session where i personally learned so many things thank you thank you so much and i would request uh, probably i'll share some um, um, uh, reading material uh, like um, uh, soft copies with minakshi or uh, um, shrani sure, and yeah. you guys can go through it and if you guys have any doubt just ping me uh, those queries and i'll uh, try to respond i try to respond but you can understand with the uh, workload we generally don't get so much time so because you are a forum you can probably collate all the questions and uh, send it together if you have that kind of doubts and i will definitely try to respond back yeah thank you so I'm much i'm sorry i'm not able to uh, put on the video now because mm. the network is we totally understand yeah thank you ma'am i yes. have a word to say um yes, please. i'm minakshi uh, hi minakshi finally yes hi, hello ma'am <laughs> but actually what uh, like you know i intend to if students have a lot of question we'll call yeah. you again for a session you know a talk session Well, just discuss that. I will definitely try to try to come back, but as you can understand, it becomes a huge challenge. But I will definitely yes. try. Thank you, thank mm, you, Minasha. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, ma'am. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um. Uh, thank you, Doctor Dhar. This is Afreen Nas from Economics Department, ma'am. 
Thank you, ma'am, for all the points and concepts that you have explained. We have eagerly waited for you, ma'am, and it is very nice. It's feeling very pleasurable that we are having words with you. And I hope all the answers have been uh, answered very beautifully. And I think all the students have received their answer. Ma'am, uh, I would like to say that the way you have explained the concept of gender, it was really beautiful, right? You have said that, that gender is beyond the boundary of physical identification, right? You said that it is the way you feel about it, right? You feel that you are a male in a female body, that that's fine, right? We need to normalize these situations. And I'm really thankful that you are putting this point. And I'm very happy that uh, persons like you are taking this forward, right? Another point that you have said that there is something, uh, uh, there is a power to shape their own life. This is the base or foundation to build a fair society. राइट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूजली हम देखते हैं कि इतना ये सुनने में जितना अच्छा लगता है उससे ज्यादा ये इंप्लीमेंट होके बहुत अच्छा होगा राइट right? हम सभी को ये राइट right होना चाहिए दैट वी शुड टेक आर ओन डिसीजन इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एंड द लास्ट यू हैव एक्सप्लेन द मल्टीट्यूड ऑफ डायमेंशन रिलेटेड टू दी जेंडर राइट इट वॉज रिलेटेड टू एजुकेशन लेवल राइट इट वॉज रिलेटेड टू द पेरेंट्स ऑफ एजुकेशन राइट दीज आर ऑल द फैक्टर राइट दैट यू हैव टॉक अबाउट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ डेटा राइट इट वॉज रियली helpful and at last you have explained that jis tarah se women jab hum gender ki baat karte hain ma'am tab hum simple hame lagta hai ki hum females ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain because we are exploited to that much extent i'm i'm really thankful ki aap is cheez pe baat kar rahe hain aap kar rahe hain aap isko aage leke ja rahe hain i'm really thankful for that and another point hum main ek choti si ek baat kehna chahti hu apne man ki ki jab hum किसी हम किसी अदर जेंडर से पीड़ित नहीं है जब भी हम विमेन एक्सप्लोइटेशन की बात करते हैं हम किसी अंदर जेंडर से एक्सप्लॉयट नहीं हो रहे हैं हम एक सोच से एक्सप्लॉयट हो रहे हैं और आप ये चीजें हमें इसको आइडेंटिफाई करना बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है जैसे कि अभी मैम ने कहा पेट्रियार से सिर्फ विमेन ही नहीं जो मेल्स हैं वो भी अफेक्ट हो रहे हैं so i'm really happy that ma'am you have pointed out certain good points and i hope so ki hum aage bhi aur sessions karenge aapke sath taki hamare students ko aur is tarah ki knowledge mil sake at last main ek majaz ka uh, share kehna chahti hu right ki uh, it is related to the women empowerment right ki tere mathe <laughs> thank you girls tere mathe pe ye aachal bahut khoob hai lekin tere mathe pe ye aachal बहुत खूब है लेकिन तू इस आंचल से एक परचम बना लेती तो अच्छा था राइट एंड लाइक टू थैंक यू ब्यूटीफुल थैंक यू थैंक यू दैट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल कपलेट एट लास्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक आवर एस्टीम प्रिंसिपल मैम आर टी आई सी यू पासना धवन मैम एंड आर कन्वीनर शिवानी मैम मीनाक्षी मैम दे ऑल आर फ्रॉम अर्थवृष्टि आर इकोनॉमिक सोसाइटी एंड आर स्टूडेंट मेंबर्स हु हैव वर्क डे एंड नाइट अर्शिया प्रिया मेघा अनिका आकांक्षा दे हैव रियली वर्क हार्ड फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम एंड आई एम रियली थैंकफुल फॉर दैम ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस प्रोग्राम आई एम रियली थैंकफुल फॉर दिस and uh, uh, shivani ma'am would you like to say something we can off the program shivani ma'am are you thank you so much ma'am for this wonderful and enriching session and definitely we would like to call you again for this uh, for these kind of sessions and very yes. sorry our principal ma'am she won't be able to join uh, because of some uh, internet glitches initially right uh, okay.